to uh, all those of you out there who doubted me, of course, Dayman included. I'm starting to see a, a pretty a pretty big resemblance between uh, my boy, uh, Big Papa Gil Alhamat, and uh, this crazy little guy whose name also happens to be on the card, Gil Alhamat. Anyone? Has anyone be able to read that? Gil Alhamat, the uh, treasonous emperor? So to all of you who doubted me, uh, you know, uh, get wrecked, dabbing ferociously off camera here. I called it. Somebody, somebody answer that phone, cause uh, Master Fiji called it. Gil, the gifted conjurer, is in fact Big Papa Gil Alhamat, Dragon Emperor, Emperor of the Dragons, Alhamat Gil. Okay, okay. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's open this crazy constructed deck called the Lost Tomes, okay? Let's open up the Lost Tomes. Well, guess what, dude? They're not lost anymore. I got them right here. I found them. They're right here. Lost and found. They should call them the Lost and Found Tomes. This is the back of the box, but you need to do that, because uh, on here it says uh, the bunch of names of a bunch of cards, but really you should just cross it out and just say really, really good shit, because this is uh, quite possibly, in my opinion, uh, which of course is the correct opinion, the most OP uh, pre-constructed deck ever released from Force of Will. So teacher, teacher, and uh, Dayman had a theory, right? They open up their boxes, and I don't know where they got this crazy, crazy idea. And I know I'm breaking some hearts here. I know there's some people like to hold on to these boxes, but I like to, I like to live dangerously. The lost tombs on the side there. The lost tombs. And so they open up their boxes because, like, I mean, you'd have to be pretty much borderline crazy not to buy this. There's so many good cards in here, and I think there's going to be a lot of play uh, of these cards in the, the upcoming GPs. So they open up their boxes, and they have a theory that uh, potentially they've got randomized holographic cards in here, so they're not all the exact same. Not all decks are created equal, so to speak. So in terms of just extra fun little things, they've got the Magic Stone, Magic Stone, the Playmat, the Field Playmat, uh, it's the same one that they released, I don't know if I even showed you guys, but it's the one with uh, all of the current block rulers going up towards a very ominous, uh, ominous looking uh, Rhea in the back there, and they also had it in the Rhea deck, and they also had it in the Guild deck, I imagine they also had it in the Pearl Shine deck, the Sheila deck, and the Kirk deck, oh god. Every time I see Kirik's Gimpy Arm, it just... Oh, how the heck did they ever greenlight that? Look, you've got Gimpy Armed uh, Kirik, but standing right next to him, who should be significantly less of a muscular build than him, considering that he's pretty much a wizard, and Kirik is a martial artist, a dragon human. You've got super buff Will. Will proportion, but way more buff than he should be Gil. So, I don't know. It's some pretty bad art. I think whoever did that should be ashamed of themselves. And then we've got the uh, quick how-to guide rules. I'm not going to bother with those because obviously I have no clue how to play this game so this wouldn't help me one bit. Just throw it right, right in the trash. Because, uh, you know, like, who needs to follow the rules? I'll just play green and people will just hand me a victory, am I right? I'll just play wind. Uh, the... <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a little bitter towards wind, even though I actually play wind quite a bit. But I don't play cancel wind. That'd just be silly. There is the foul glossary guide. And it's actually getting decently, decently long now. Considering all of the new abilities and all that. So that's all fluff. This is the thing that we care about. We can actually just throw these right in the trash. I bought the box for this little plastic nub. I am going to uh, create the world's greatest invisible deck with it. Thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in, and uh, check out my other videos. Okay, I'll see you next time. Oh, okay, you guys wanted to see what was in the actual deck. Okay, yeah, I can show you that, too. But the video was mostly for that plastic bit. Just so you know, everything from here on in is just fluff. You've already seen the best. Now you're just... You, this is the prequel trilogy to the original trilogy, okay? Just, just so you guys know. I'm not trying to fool anybody here, okay? These are just, these are just pieces of cardboard. The, uh...
the centerpiece was that plastic bit. Okay, so I'm actually not going to go into their abilities too much right now. I'll go over those when I actually make, I guess, an altered version of this deck. But we have Gil Alhamet, the Treasonous Emperor. And on the other side, he is Gil Alhamet, he who controls the taboo. So he is our ruler. Then we have Venus Magus of the Metal Star. She's one of the seven Lemurians. Then we have Scant Vision. We have Viola, Treacherous Maiden. So good. Then we have Blazer, who I'm super happy to see making a, a reappearance. Blazer the Legendary Thief. And we have Alhamat's Ultra Magic Stone, which to me kind of looks like the magic stone that Tigris Pearl Shine is using. So I'm wondering if Gil ends up actually betraying Tigris and taking his stone and making it into his Ultimate Magic Stone. So to answer your uh, theory, Teacher Teacher and Dayman, um, it seems like they have, for the most part, a standardized five shiny card in the deck. So they were wondering if they were different for every deck and it was randomized, but I don't think so. It's just those five are the only shinies you get in the deck, I'm pretty sure. Then we have three of those. We've got four Chrono, four Chrono Researcher Alisaris. Four of the best card in this deck, in my opinion. Sylvia, the Slave Girl. Uh, you know, ravioli, ravioli, don't uh, loot the dragon lily and all that. Then we've got another Lumerian, the Saturnus, Enchanter of the Earth Star. Oh, he's Earth, that's cool. Scant Vision, the other three. We've got Jupiter, Warlock of the Wood Star. We've got the other three Violas. We've got the other three, Blazer, the Legendary Thief. And I love how all these cards are full art. Like, how sick is that? Oh, and there's my girl. There's my girl, Rachel Nephilim Contract Maker. So I guess she's like a, a demon that made a contract with Gil. Kind of like how there was a demon that made a contract with, uh, which I'm assuming was uh, Gil's girlfriend, Freyla. Then we've got the Forbidden Arts. These are, no, these are quick, quick acid, those are stones. Okay, here we go, now we're getting to the stones. We've got the Historic Magic Stone. Four of those. We've got Darkness Magic Stone. Fire Magic Stone. Oh, these look so cool. Light Magic Stone. Water Magic Stone. And Wind Magic Stone. Okay, guys, I did breeze through that, and that's just because, like, I mean, I'm assuming most people bought this deck, and I kind of just wanted to check that theory that Damon and Teacher Teacher had, and I wanted to, of course, grab my little plastic nibs. Um, but I uh, I won't go into crazy detail with the cards, because everybody can just see them online, and I'm assuming most people got the deck as well. Here's uh, Master Fija saying, uh, I totally fucking told you so that Gil... Uh, the Gifted Conjurer was, in fact, Gil Alhamat, and I'm super happy that they've gone full circle. And I'm excited to see what they do with the lore for uh, the character that, that we've pretty much gone from. Uh, pretty close to the end of the prequel of his story to essentially where we were, where he showed up and was quickly defeated in the stories of uh, Return of the Dragon Emperor and then Echoes. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next deck build or the next gp update or the next whatever i'm doing next okay guys i seriously 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 need to get some sleep keep being good to each other and uh yeah we'll see you next time peace